when we divide powers like this, you actually end up subtracting the two together. So we get x to the 8. If you want to know a bit more where that comes from, let's say I've got, I'm not going to do it for this one, but if I did x to the 5 divided by x squared, then it'll be x times x times x times x times x divided by x times x. And you can imagine you cancel some of them out. You cancel that one with that one, cancel with that one with that one, and we're left with x cubed. So you can see why you subtract them, hopefully. It works, in fact, for all x to the 8, even if it was a fraction or a negative, it still works. So this is the formula to be aware of, but also where it comes from.